those are a lot of fun. That's another video. What we're here for today, LED Glow Million Color Golf Cart Kit. This can go on just about any golf cart. Today we're going to put it on a Icon with the lithium setup. Real quick before we get to the cart, I want to walk you through this. It's a very basic installation. As you can see, each one of these strips has a very specific size harness plug that will only fit into one place on the control box. This plug carries it on to the controller. This will connect directly to your main positive and main negative of your battery terminals. Make sure you have ordered the correct controller box. This is set up for a 48 volt system. You can tell it's a longer box. It has a reducer built into it. If you get one and it's a smaller box like this, it means it's for a 12 volt setup, a gas golf cart. Next you have your tools. Again, very simple installation. You are going to make a couple connections for your battery terminals. So you are going to need your wire strippers and crimpers and a torch. You need a 13 millimeter wrench to loosen your main terminal, main positive terminal on your batteries. Some zip ties, an impact with a Phillips bit, and always remember your safety glasses. Let's get to it. Here we have the Green Hornet. As you can see, this is already done up a little more than what it already is from the factory. Uh, but this customer wanted some lights up underneath it for, for their night rides. Obviously, we're using the four-piece standard kit. You can get the wheel wells and you can put them up top wherever you like them. But for today's video, we're going to start with just the basic four-piece. Let's get under this thing. You'll notice on the end of these, they do come with an eyelet so you can install them with the self tappers. However, with this application and a round bar, it makes it very difficult to try and use the self tappers. I'll use these adhesive double, ta double sided tape strips. I'll peel that off. Once I get it to stick up here, then I'll use zip ties to hold it in place. I always put the end with the wire closest to where I'm going to be routing all of my wires. Since I'm going to the battery well with that, I'll place it that way. If you choose to use the zip ties, make sure that you are not over tightening. You can break these. All right. For this part of the install, you'll repeat the same steps on the other side. This is one of the shorter strips. I've already taken the adhesive strip off and I'll be placing it right in the middle in the front of the cart. Now we're under the back side of the golf cart. I am going to be peeling the double-sided tape just to hold this in place. But for this installation, I'm actually able to use the self-tapper screws. So I wanted to show you that.
Always make sure you have on your safety glasses. And that's that. Now we're going to start running these wires. Notice that when I run this wire, I'm going to go up over any of the moving parts. Now that I have it ran, I will zip tie it to the frame and make sure that it's away from any moving parts. Alright, I've got all the wires ran to the same location. I'm getting ready to take these all up to the top. Before I go, I'll cut all these zip ties off so it doesn't look like a porcupine up under here. And then we'll finish it up up top. Somebody's trying to steal my car, sorry. As you can see, this battery setup has the eco battery lithium in it. So the only thing we have to do to disconnect the power on this is shut it off. Definitely a lot easier than disconnecting. You can see on here, I've already connected the eyelets. I'm going to take these bolts out and get these hooked up to the battery. For those of you who don't know, red goes to positive, black goes to negative. One down, one to go. I use this jumper harness between the controller and the distribution block. And make our four connections.
while I'm making these connections, I want to show you these other options that you have available. This row of small four connections, those are for your canopy lights, and these larger connections would be for your wheel wells. All of which would plug and play directly into this without any additional wiring. Okay. Let's try her out. I'll turn the battery on and we have lights. I always verify that the entire strip is working on all four strips. I use my remote control that comes with it to test power. That works. Mode. That works. Color. Oh yeah. And speed. There we go. And I'll check this. And I'll check the other remote the same way. Now that we know everything's working properly, I will put the double-sided tape on the back of these. I'll also put a couple drops of super glue and I'll put them in their permanent location. Just like that. And I'll mount the controller right next to it. All right, we got everything put back together. We got the controller and distribution block mounted and we got the wires all cleaned up and going under the cart. Now we'll go back under there, finish up the wiring and we're done. Got back under here, got all these wires loomed together, zip tied them to the frame of the cart, away from any moving parts or anything that's gonna create heat. And that's it. Pretty simple installation. Let's go have some fun. Looks good. We finished that install. If you got any questions or comments, just let us know. Until next time, we'll see you again at Preston's Workshop.